Do you think you can find the value of x in such a weird equation? Mm, at first it looks really complicated, but don't worry, it's actually simple. Let's smash it step by step together. To solve this kind of question, first we need to simplify these two radicals that I have highlighted. According to the rules of exponent, a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So instead of the expression fifth root of x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 7, we can write fifth root of x to the power of 3 plus 7, which simplifies to fifth root of x to the power of 10. Now, the power of 10 cancels out with the fifth root and it simplifies to x squared. Also, instead of the expression the cube root of x to the power of negative 5 times x to the power of negative 13, we can write the cube root of x to the power of negative 18. Now the power of 18 cancels out with the cube root and it simplifies to x to the power of negative 6. That's great. Now instead of the original equation we can write 9 minus the 8th root of x squared or x to the power of negative 6 all the squared is equal to 25. Alright, we will write this expression as follows. 9 minus the 8th root of x squared times x to the power of 6 all raised to the power of 2 is equal to 25. Again. Based on the same exponent rule we mentioned earlier, a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. So we can rewrite this expression as 9 minus the a root of x to the power of 8 all the squared is equal to 25. Now the power of 8 cancels out with the a root and this expression simplifies to 9 minus x all the squared is equal to 25. According to the binomial identity, a minus b all the squared equals a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So we can rewrite this expression as follows. 9 squared minus 18x plus x squared equals 25. Alright, we simplify this expression and it becomes x squared minus 18x plus 81 minus 25 is equal to 0 which further simplifies to x squared minus 18x plus 56 is equal to 0. In a quadratic equation, the value of delta is found using the following formula. Delta equals b squared minus 4 times a times c. So the value of delta for this equation is negative 18 squared minus 4 times 1 times 56, which equals 100. Since delta is greater than 0, this equation has two real solutions. And the value of x for this equation is found using the following formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. So, the value of x equals negative of negative 18 plus or minus the square root of 100 divided by 2 times 1. This equation simplifies to x equals 18 plus or minus 10 over 2. Finally, the first x equals 18 plus 10 over 2 which equals 14. And the second x equals 18 minus 10 over 2 which equals 4. Now let's check if the solutions we found are correct. If you notice, the simplified form of the original equation was 9 minus x squared equals 25. First, we substitute the value of x which is 14 into the equation. So it becomes 9 minus 14 squared equals 25. And it simplifies to negative 5 squared equals 25. That's great. It is proven that the first solution we found is completely correct. Now we substitute the value of x which is 4 into the equation. So it becomes 9 minus 4 all the squared equals 25, which simplifies to 5 squared equals 25. Again, it is proven that the second solution we found is also correct. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. And to see more math videos, subscribe to the channel.